What's up everybody, Matt Z here. I've got an awesome tool and methodology that I use for cold outreach. It's called contact form marketing. And what this is, is that every website pretty much has a contact us form. And studies show or statistics show that over 90% of emails or messages sent through the contact us will be opened by the webmaster or website owner. So that's huge. If you compare that to like cold outreach emails, you'll be lucky to get 5%. So this is a really cool method to use. Um, you can hire a VA to do it. I wouldn't recommend it, or you can do it manually if you're low on cash. Um, but I utilize this tool called GSA Website Contact. It's a $100 one-time fee. Um, I had it on another computer with like hundreds of campaigns, but I just recently got a new setup and I had to reinstall it. So I've only got a handful of campaigns, but you can see here how many sites that I've sent messages to. And what the tool does is it looks for websites based on your keywords, and then it checks to see it has a contact us form, and then it sends them your message. So let me show you, I've, I set one up here recently. I, I just did a whole recording and it didn't record. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit different way. Um, when you come in to set up a new setup, I leave everything alone. So actually I can take you through a new one. So let's add a new one. And let's name this one HVAC, and this one could be Chicago, HVAC Chicago. All right, I leave all this the same except the keywords to target for. I might want to add a couple other keywords. So I'm going to add heating and cooling Chicago. Maybe add air conditioning Chicago. All right, once those are set, I can add more if I want, but you really don't need to have too many. I leave this all alone. Filter, I leave alone. Submission content. This is where you're going to need to add in your submission content. The way to do it is, I don't like to use random first name. I used to use my real name. So I double click it. How to fill. I want to go self-defined. Okay, Matthew. This is for the information for the for fields in the form to fill. Last name. My last name. Zivkovic. All right, let me pause this real quick as I fill it out. Okay, uh, I got down, I got all my name and everything and all that filled out. I got down to kind of the nitty gritty where we're going to start doing the selling. So subject, so what is the subject that you want to put if, they're, if they ask for one? What I put is, for my model, pay per call marketing for HVAC in Chicago. All right, and then my message, my particular message that I use, I'm going to pause this and paste mine in. Okay, so here's a uh, sweet little simple message. Hi, we have a great paper call marketing program for HVAC companies. We can only work with one company per market and we need someone in the Chicago area. If you would like more information, please schedule a time on my calendar. We can walk you through the program. Okay, and let me paste my Calendly link in. Okay, I pop my Calendly link in. I got my message sent, subject, all everything predefined, and I am ready to click OK. All right, so now we get to this screen. We see HVAC in Chicago, and I want to start it. And when I click Start, I get all these options. The only option I ever use is Scrape, Check, and Send. That's going to scrape for websites that have the keywords that I set. It's going to check for a contact form button or contact form page, and then it's going to send my message. So let me go ahead and click Start. It's going to give me this warning that this is my message. Do I want to send it? Yes, continue. And we are off to the races. All right, and we can see already 70 sites have been checked. And we should start getting sends. We eight failed so far. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now this 100% done, that's just based on what they scraped for one keyword. They keep scraping and keep scraping. You'll see this number is going to keep going up and up and up. And I should be checking my email. I should be starting to get those auto responses. And that's how I signify I know these messages are going through. Um, and we'll let this run for a while here. I'm going to pause the video. All right, I've let it run maybe uh, two, three minutes now. And so far, 32 messages have been sent. I'm starting to get messages into my inbox that they've received our information. So uh, pretty cool. Um, this thing will continue to run. It says it's 100% done. Um, it might be. Normally it will keep trying to send because right now there's 181, 32, 86. So it's going to continue to try to send. Uh, I only used a few keywords and only Chicago. If I was to start really, if I was really hammering Chicago, I would be doing every suburb and, you know, HVAC 
Naperville, HVAC, Oak Park, all this, there's hundreds of suburbs in Chicago. And I really, I would get thousands of results. So um, this is an awesome tool. Again, you might want to test it out doing it manually. Um, you might want to test out um, maybe using a VA. I don't think the cost is really effective. Uh, 100 bucks, one time fee for this tool. I think it's totally worth it. If I was someone who needed to get people to raise their hands, as Josh says, I would just be on this all day, pounding it, just sending messages out all day long. Sure, you'll get a few people that are going to be upset with you, but you're going to get plenty of responses and that's going to open the door up. So um, you can see it's still going as we're talking and um, there's no limit on how many messages I can send out in the system. If you have any questions about this process, um, utilizing it, doing it manually, whatever, hit me up. I'd love to help. All right, guys. Thanks so much.